Jimmy! It's Uncle T. I hear you're in need of a positive male role model. Uncle T! Yeah, I guess that'd be cool. If you need to cancel, just, like, call and tell me. Good, kid. Not like your father at all. Getting high in traffic is the yeah. shit. My favorite uncle. We gotta Are you fucking kidding me? It's good to see you, Uncle T. And you, kid, and you. Been a long time. Yeah, really long. Well, let's make up for lost time. Jeez, uh, your dad. <laughs> ah, what an asshole, huh? My dad? Yeah. Really selfish asshole, don't you think? No, well, wait a moment, that's not fair. He's your dad. He's a hypocrite and a selfish asshole, but we love him. Okay. But listen to me. You don't stab people in the back like he did. You hear me? What do you mean? I mean, you stab him in the face. In the face. Plunge, twist across the throat, and then they're gone and you're the last thing they see on this earth. That's how you stab someone. Okay. Stick with T, pork chop. I'll see you right. Oh, hey, there's a bar nearby. Let's get some cold ones. <laughs> cold ones? Are you a frat boy now? But Uncle T, I just thought we could get a beer. I mean, I'm... I don't care how old you are. Little Jim don't drink. Not on my watch. End of discussion. It's good to see you, Uncle T. I missed you. And I've missed you. Yeah, my dad said everyone should be terrified of you because you're crazy, but I disagree. I'm not scared of you. Your dad, eh? What a guy. What a guy. Hey, Jim. All these years, why didn't you write or try and look up old Uncle T? Well, we were kind of in hiding. Well, it would have been nice to know that. Well, we... I, I thought you were dead. What made you think that? You were the subject of a nationwide manhunt, and your lifestyle didn't exactly suggest longevity. You were 12 years old. What'd you know about lifestyle? The cans and the guns and the needles. The 12-year-old knows. Well, I am not dead. I wasn't dead. I never have been. Uh, except for maybe five minutes when I put an axe into a power cable. Oh, that's good. Th that's great. The world's a better place for having you in it. I'm worried about Tracy, Uncle T. Yeah? Why is that? I think she's losing herself. Well, just keep an eye on her, kid. If there's a man taking advantage, you give me his name and I'll make his guts into guitar strings. Oh, uh, thanks. Have you been, Uncle T? I have been all over the place, my boy. Emotionally, I mean. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I think I might follow your dad into therapy work out some of this angst that I really feel's holding me back. Really? No! Of course not. Not turn that wet. Therapy's for losers. Real men take out their aggression on random strangers and the world around them. Cool. Or in problem eating, or the heavy abuse of drugs and porn. Myself, I think that's the edge. That's the secret of my success, young Jim. Okay. Okay, I get you, I think. Good. Because I will make a man of you, even if that depressing dad of yours has tried to ruin you. You know, Uncle T, my dad thinks I'm a bad joke. I'm sure that's not true. But trust me, just as soon as I've finished my weed and I've got to level 85 on the Righteous Slaughter update, I will find a purpose, I swear. Of course. I'm going to make it really big. I've got drive. I'm fat and everyone hates me. No, they don't. I don't hate you. Everyone I meet hates me. Have you heard the things people say to me in the street? They cross the road. They shout abuse. You think that gets me down? Maybe? Yeah. Well, it does. Sometimes. And if it does, I cross the road after him, follow him to a dark alley, and end up in a series of dumpsters. Okay, well, I'm not gonna do that, and it really doesn't stop me being fat. You're on the wrong drugs, boy. Huh? Marijuana? A downer. It depresses you, it makes you stupid, and it gives you an appetite. Crank, on the other hand. I should smoke crystal meth? You take a hit of crystal. You think you wanna eat? 
How many calories do you think you burn on a three-day speed bender? A, a lot, I guess. A whole lot. So, meth is the answer to all my problems? No, 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 no. Of course not. But it is the answer to some of them. I think I'd prefer to be fat. It's cool hanging out, Uncle T. It reminds me of the old days. Mmm, simpler times. You were always such a cool uncle. Still am, ain't I? Yeah, sure. Cool and kind of creepy. How have you been, Uncle T? Having a gay old time, my boy. A gay old time. W what have you been doing? Mm, well, I'd tell you, but then I'd have to kill you. Really? <laughs> oh. I'd just terrify you until you soiled yourself, then kill someone else you love. That would probably keep you quiet. Okay. On a, on a different subject, do you think my mom and dad will stay together? I mean, you knew them years ago. Hmm, well, that's an interesting dilemma. Your mom, she's a great girl. She had a great pair of legs when she was younger, always loved money, a lot, if you know what I mean, and your dad, well, I love him like a brother, but he's a back-stabbing, lying degenerate with less backbone than a garden worm. Okay. So, in a way, I'd say they were made for each other. Two lying, backstabbing, money-hungry desperados. <sighs> Gotta love them. Anyway, how's school? I'm not in school. Oh, good for you, kid. Good for you. So come on, team. Let's not fuck around. Take me drinking. No, you're a child. I'm almost 20. If we were in Europe, I could legally drink, marry, come out and be president. Well, sadly, this ain't Europe. Don't leave me again, Jim. Only Dad faked his death. You could have maybe tracked us down. Yeah, maybe, but just don't leave me again, or this time, I will come for you in your sleep. Um, cool. I I'm, not, I'm not going anywhere. Crap! Up you I'm pleased we can spend this time together, boy. Yeah, it's nice. I was sad when I lost your father, but I was heartbroken to lose you kids as well. I guess we didn't think about the people we left behind. You didn't. You're right. Shame on you. Sorry, T. So, how's Tracy? I don't see enough of that girl. She's, um, confused. It's a confusing place to grow up, I think. Especially if you're a girl. With a mom like Amanda, and a dad like Daddy, you've got to be there for her. I try. Do you? No, I don't. I love her, but we're just nasty to each other, and it really sucks, but we can't help it. It's not good enough, pal. Your mama and your dad probably shouldn't have had kids, but they did, and they ain't gonna suddenly stop being selfish and look after you, so you gotta look after each other. I'll try. Do that. How you been, T? Well, really well. How have you been, kid? Okay. Actually, not okay. I I've been bored. I gotta do something with my life. Ooh, I remember that feeling only too well. I was a drifter, up by the border, wandering from truck stop to truck stop, recently out of the military, huffing gas, fucking people over, killing, eating, whatever. Sure, it was fun, but it was going nowhere. Sort of. I guess. Then I met your dad. We started doing scores and boom! Before you know it, I've made it. I'm a wanted man. I got money, beautiful house in the desert, and now look at me. American dream. Yeah, exactly. Maybe I should be a bank robber. Or a comedian. I'm really funny. You are. I mean, yeah, kid. Go for it. Everyone loves a fat kid who laughs at himself. I didn't mean it like that. Nah, don't get defensive. It's the truth. You're fat and you just need to get funny. Then Vinewood will love you. Tough love. That's what you get from Uncle T. But it's still love. Uncle T? Pork chop. When did you know what you wanted to do with your life? Pretty young. Yeah, I was pulling the legs off a spider and I wanted more. I wanted to kill all the way up the food chain until I hit the top. The human being. So, uh, I should probably know by now? Maybe you do know, but you don't know you know. I might want to be a video game designer. 
Why? Because I like video games. I like sausages, but I don't want to work in a sausage factory. Unless I could make human sausages, and then I also got to eat all of them. What does that mean? It means Trevor Phillips Industries might have a new industry. It also means you got to learn to think for yourself. What's been going on, Uncle T? Oh, not too much, kid. Just enjoying myself mostly. Such are the rewards of the successful entrepreneur. I can only imagine. But I come from humble beginnings. Very humble. So every day I take Trevor Phillips Enterprises forward is a happy and relaxing day. God, I love this country. You do? Where else could a humble part Canadian boy murder people, run weapons and drugs, and be able to call themselves a success? I've never really thought of that. I guess... My problem is, it just sucks being rich. Uh, what do you mean? I mean, like, life's just so easy. It's sunny, and I got a car, and a house, and why bother? And I just, I just wish I was hungry and angry like you. It's all my dad's fault. Maybe so, maybe so. Yeah, it's his fault I don't have a job or any ambition. I'm amazing. I should have done something with my life. It's all his fault. Oh, self-pity. The most powerful emotion in the world. I love you, kid. I'm sorry, Jim. What are you sorry for? I was there, 20 years ago, or whatever, when a bank robber knocked up a stripper. I knew that only sadness would come out of that union, and I should have done something. Really? Um, you know, it's fine. Ah, look at you. Given all the opportunities, but then less than nothing with them. Fat, miserable, directionless. I'm not directionless, T. I've got a plan now. A plan? Really? I'm gonna become a gangster rapper. Ah-ha! Is gangster rap even a thing anymore? I thought they rapped about shoes and male purses. They do! That's why I'm gonna make it street again. I'm gonna be a white gangster rapper from Rockford Hills who plays video games for a living. Oh! Very nice. Maybe you aren't such a lost cause after all. I'm so glad we're hanging out, T. Good. Because me and my dad, we're not speaking right now. Yeah, I know. He's an asshole, Uncle T. I know. I agree, Jimbo. He's one prize asshole. His whole life is just one long manifestation of assholeness. He's ruined you, hurt me, and fucked his life up. Sometimes, I wish you were my dad. I can see why. The thing is, us guys, we need role models, and your dad ain't much of one. Uncle T, on the other hand, I'm just a better guy. Yep. But when fate finally catches up, man, he will be fucked. Oh, uh... Oh, ah, uh, yeah. Here we are, kid. Uncle T? It's good having you around. 